as you can see. Wind's howling again. First fish hook. That's a launch out of the water. Bit of, a bit of an aerial effort from the tailor. First species on the board. We're gonna see how many species we can get today as part of just a day's fishing. First one on the board, good old Taylor. These are pretty common in the lake. That's not a bad size Taylor for the lake. I would like to try and get as many species as I can today. It'd be nice to tick 10 over. I don't think five's too much of a challenge, so. We won't do a five species challenge. If we're gonna do a challenge, we might as well make it a challenge and we'll go for 10. Good bite, feels like a decent lizard. Either that or a small dew, but I'm going for a, going for a flatty. Donk brim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a tank. Look at that. What an absolute <laughs> what an absolute tank of a brim. Good start of the day. Good take on the Trans Am. Wasn't sure what it was at first. Felt like either a small jewel or a good flatty, but it's just a really, really good grip. Right, definitely off to a good start with the species. That's the second one on the board. Absolutely cracking brim. Good way to start the morning. I guess just being out here after a, a weekend off is a good way to start it. I, was, I think it was about a 39, 39 to the fork and 43, 44 tip brim. Very good brim. I've got the um, Dewey set up at the moment on. And it's 16 pound braid with a 16 pound leader. Didn't seem to bother that big brim too much. Doesn't feel like much, whatever it is. I'll add that to the species list. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here's me ripping away like I'm snagged. <laughs> and it's a flatty. Jeez, I hope he hasn't swallowed it down. Otherwise, this will be gone. Bloody amateur hour here. I think I got a piece of weed. <laughs> oh, mate. I don't know what I was thinking about then, but it wasn't fishing. Just daydreaming. Feels like a decent fish, too. If I end up losing it, it's probably my own fault. It just took it on the drop. I didn't even feel it hit. Lifted the rod and there was weight. Thought it was weed, because I've been getting heaps of weed. Start, started ripping at the rod, trying to get it out of the weed. And then after about 10 seconds, realized it wasn't weed at all, it was a fish. Definitely not one of my finest. I can just see the mask vibe. He's got it in his mouth all right. Ah, on the outside, that's good. Nice flathead. I think that's species number four. Not a bad flathead. I'll chuck it on the mat just to see how we're going for size. It's not that big, but. To something small. Just had to turn that music off there. Oh, we've lost it. Have we? Hopefully we haven't. Hopefully it's like a flounder. Oh, it is a flounder. Beautiful. Species number five. Hopefully get a look at him. Species number six, maybe? I don't know, we'll work that out later. But yeah, another nice little jewel on the Trans Am again.
catches all sorts of different species all different times of the day day night it doesn't really matter it's like not too big of a lure and not too small of a lure it's a very very good all-rounder I've probably got about I probably had 10 different colors I don't always use the chartreuse orange but in the lake it's really good Chase me right up to the boat and grab that. Going like the absolute clappers. Yeah, it went pretty fast. There's a bit bonus if it was a little king. I've never caught him just out where I am. Kingy. Well, if I can get this guy into the boat, that'll be another one marked off. That could be, I think, eight. Awesome. Little king. Mate, they go awesome for the size. When you stop getting bites all together when you're out dewy fishing and you just cast and cast and cast and you start looking around, you start daydreaming. You can't really afford to because when that dewy bites, if you're not ready and you miss the fish, that could be the one bite you've had all day. And if it's gone, it's gone. That might be it for the session. So picking up a lot of bycatch Sometimes can be annoying, but keeps you concentrating, keeps you focused. And it's always, there's a lot more fun when you're catching fish. No one wants to cast all day for nothing. It's all right if you cast for a couple of hours, then get a dew, but can be a bit quiet sometimes in between. Miss that bite. There's a bit of weight, but just a dead weight. It's a decent fish, whatever it is. I don't even know if it really think knows it's hooked yet. I don't think this fish knows it's hooked yet. If that's the case, it's gonna be a good fish. Once it wakes up. I think he's got an idea now he's hooked. Could be another Dewey. Which should be sick if it is. But we don't count them until I get in the boat here. And the fact that I didn't really get a good hook set on it. It's just sitting down low, down deep. Definitely reasonable. He's just sitting down there trying to shake the lure off. That's what those big head shakes are. The fish just stops and goes side to side, just trying to just trying to get rid of that lure. This is almost to the spot where I caught that last fish. I just went and put a mark on the sounder before because I knew that was where I got it. There's obviously something here they like. Oh, 
Oh, what a day we're having. This is unbelievable. We're well on target for the 10 species challenge, fingers crossed. This looks like our second dew for the day. Absolutely cracking brim first thing this morning. We've got a small king, nice flatty. It's been unreal. Carefully does it. Just out of the corner of my eye. I've seen a fish buddy chasing a prawn across the top. Just a buddy, just a brim, but yeah, just threw the spy tail out. It was straight on it. what's left of the prawn that he took. Just its head. <laughs> uh, enjoy that meal, mate. Oh. Oh. Pulled up onto a cockle bed. We're straight onto something small. This could be it. This could be a whiting. It is not a whiting. It's a tar wine. <laughs> We have species number 10. What's well, unreal? First challenge I set myself. 10 species. Don't wanna make it too easy doing five. They're rookie numbers. We do 10 here. Gotta make it a bit of a challenge. That's why it's called a challenge. Good to get a couple of dew, nice brim, mixture of fish, different ways, different techniques. The wind's sort of been on and off all day, so sometimes it's been okay, sometimes it's really unfishable. As I say that, a little breeze, breeze blows through. But it's been an awesome day to fish. Had the day off, took the chance. and it was well worth it. We completed the challenge today, 10 different species on lures. It was fairly easy going at times, and then that last fish, the tar wine, proved a bit difficult. Once you've got nine species, it kind of narrows it down a bit, so it does make it a lot tougher, but we got there in the end. Also got some good fish too during the day, a couple of nice jewel. Not massive, but decent. Good brim, nice flatty. All in all, it's been a good day out. Hopefully you enjoy the episode. Once the boat gets fixed, I'll be back on the water. And no doubt, chasing some jewies again.